Hello everyone, my name is Nomis and welcome back to another episode of Project Zomboid Hardcore Survival. We are picking up here with Mr. Scott Rogers, our hero for this season. About to leave the Pony Romo area and head up to the next location. Now, I did figure out what was going on with the map. Uh, apparently, uh, before they had the workshop mods uh, active uh, through Steam, I had previously installed several maps manually uh, into the game, and Drayton was one of those maps. So I've actually taken that map file out of my Project Zomboid folder, which should allow us to uh, get to that unnamed town in between Muldra and uh, Riverside, where we had originally intended to go. I believe any cells that already have loaded will still be there, even though I've removed the map files. But... Should be able to... Go around now. Now where is the path here? To go up. Oh, right up here. Okay, perfect. Yeah, there we go. Alright, so let's get out of the woods here. We're going to try and bring the barbecue up with us, the gas one. I'm going to try and throw that, see if we have enough room in our car to throw that in the back. First though, we need to get up to the van. I brought all our food and the few boxes of nails with us. So we're not leaving anything behind. It is almost midnight, so starting off a little bit later than uh, I had initially planned. I was fast forwarding to get to um, the docile time and actually went accidentally went too far. So we got our van here. I got a radio on me. We got a few radios on the car. See, we are going to need all those radios once we get to this town. So let's drop off. Oh, no, we're not going to have enough room in here to actually bring the uh, the barbecue. So that's fine. We'll just drop all this stuff off in here. Maybe I'll leave some food on us. Uh, but most of the stuff can go away. And then we shall hop inside. Let's close that. Yeah, we just don't have enough room to, to carry the barbecue with us, but that's fine. Alright, let's get this started. Let's back up. So we're going to have to backtrack a little bit. There's all the zombies from the radio that we had placed down before. So we need to backtrack to the next intersection. It's just past the Pony Romo Ranch. And then we got to kind of go around the long way. But that's fine. We're still going to get there. So this turn will want here. So this goes north and then it cuts west. Uh, it's a fair bit of a drive. Might take us a good uh, four hours or so. Or maybe even five hours to get there. And then once we are there, there's a there's not many houses that are two stories. Uh, the one place I had initially intended on staying to, uh, we we're not really going to easily be able to get to, because it was going kind of the initial way I had planned. Where the, the, uh, the map is now written over by the Drayton couple cells, but uh, it should be. I think it's this turn here. Let me just double check. Yeah, it's this turn here. The other going straight up would take us eventually to West Point. If we followed that road. But this should allow us to get around uh, those few cells that were loaded from the Drayton map. And then uh, we should be back onto Manila territory. If all works out as planned. So I'm going to continue on down here and we will cut back uh, once something interesting happens. Oh, there's a lot of zombies right here. Did not expect that. Way out here in the middle of nowhere. 
I'm not sure if this was because we did have the Drayton map enabled and it started to spawn in zombies out here where the city would have been. So it does seem weird to have this many this far out. As long as they're not completely clogging the road though, we should be able to make it our way through. Oh, just after one, so our cat eyes will be running out soon here. Looks like it opens up a bit here, so we'll uh, we'll see in a little bit, guys. All right, it is 2:30 a.m. We have circled around the long way around the town. The next intersection we get to, we're gonna stop, turn the car off, go in on foot. Hopefully, we still have enough time to do what we need to do. But the zombie population is picking up again, so I don't want to bring this car into town. So it's gonna attract way too much attention. So we're going to stop at the next intersection, turn off the car, head into town with our sledgehammer and some radios, round people up, and hopefully secure that gas station on the far side of town. It would be on the northeast corner of town. So this intersection should be coming up here. And it may just be a turn, it may not be an intersection. It'll turn back east. So let's actually grab a couple radios, put it into our bag right now. Um, ooh, our sledgehammer. Where's our sledgehammer? Oh, did I forget our sledgehammer? I think I may have forgot our sledgehammer, guys. This isn't good. Okay, well, this is where we want to be. Um, damn it. What did I do with our sledgehammer? Let's turn this off. Hop out. Um, hmm. Should have double checked that before we left. I don't know, I put, probably put it in the back, hey, eh? back of the car. It's probably where I put it. Yeah. Okay, let's grab that. Alright, just grab it. Okay, good. Alright, so that's full. Okay, well, let's try and get into town here. Um, I might want to set up a radio beside the car here. To draw people away from it, because it's going to draw a lot of the attention. So let's put a radio out here. Let's put one down here. Turn that on. Crank it up. Try and call people back down towards it. Uh, it's not super far away from the road, but it should be far enough away. Yeah, like that car without the muffler. <laughs> it's so loud. Alright, well, we don't have a lot of time here, so we gotta get into town. We're carrying a very heavy load with the sledgehammer. Not sure if there's enough stuff I can move over here into our backpack. Let's see. There's not a lot of extra room there. I don't think we'd have enough to. Uh, well, it'd be close. Let's move a few things over. Sixteen. So I think it's is it six? Wait, it is six. Yeah, we just need to move a little bit more over. Uh, we could eat something. We could pull at these. Let's pull at these radios. So I think I just have to go straight down this road. Let's put that in there. Ah, uh, we're still quite a bit overweight, but. Uh, I think that's the best we're going to be able to do right now. Move one over. Okay, let's eat another salad here. Give us some more strength. And I'll double check the map and make sure this is the right way we want to go. 
Okay, yes it is. Yes it is. Full to bursting, so that gave us a little bit of a uh, strength boost. Not quite carrying such a heavy load anymore. I think it'll be the next... I don't think it's this one. No, that's the burger joint. Okay, so it should be the next area. The next, um... Is it this road? I think it might be this one here. Oh! <laughs> they heard something. An alarm just went off. Okay, well... Hopefully that's not the gas station, because that's where I need to go. It's 4.40. Don't have a lot of extra time here. That's exactly where I want to go, though, down there. Seems like they're going away from it, though. So that's good. Might just have to wait for them to pass by. Or is it this? No, maybe it is this building. I think it is. Okay, well, we gotta put down some radios. So let's put one, uh, I guess just down here. This can be the first one. Try and draw people back towards this location. At five o'clock, we got four hours to do this. Let's draw these people up. Watch this radio. And yeah, everyone come down here. Don't go to the gas station. Okay, let's go around to the next spot on the other side. We'll drop another radio over there. So let's unpack this. We're going to be very close for time here. We'll drop a radio on this side. on this road, just down here. Not optimum placement of radios, but it's just where we need to put things so we can get inside here. So let that go. It's almost six o'clock, so I have to do a big loop around here somewhere. Let's call all these people over. Alright, let me go up here. Do a big loop around. Get back down to the gas station. Clear out whoever's left. Maybe we can put one more up here too. Um, do we have one more radio on us? Uh, no, we don't. We have an alarm clock. I suppose it would also work, but let's see if we can make do. Yikes, there's a lot. There is a lot here still. All right, come on. Come on. This way. Don't got all day. <laughs> I got less than three hours to get you over to this radio. That's a whole lot of zombies, guys. I think I can do it, though. Um, I am going to need some sheet ropes, though. So let's switch out to our knife.
Let's quickly kill one. Maybe this guy. Get his sheet ropes. Okay. Keep pulling these guys up. 6.30. At 8 o'clock we gotta head into the building though. Just make sure we have enough time. Could have used... Ah, I should have brought those other two radios. Right, let me just go around here again. Let's see what's left at the gas station. Looking a lot better, but there's still quite a few. So let's do one more shout. Over here. Pull this group. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Jesus. That's a good chunk of them though. Alright, it's almost seven, we got two hours to go here. That's a lot of zombies <laughs> in that group. Come on. Hopefully this is enough for me to get inside the building. Get upstairs, put a sheet rope out. I pulled them back. Good. Okay. I think they're almost close enough to hear the radio now. Let's go to the other side of the zombie horde. Should pull them in now. It's raining fairly heavily. How big is this pond? If I can go around it, yeah. Let's go around this. Seven twenty. Hopefully, there's enough empty space for us to get in there. If there is, we will get this. Sledgehammer equipped. Okay, let's get up there. It's very cold. Uh, looks like it worked. Got them all there. So let's get unseen to the building. There's still several around there. Uh, it's pretty light out though, so as long as we can get inside, there should be an alarm because the alarm already went off, right? So I guess that's kind of good. Let's try and avoid being seen here. Uh, remove broken glass. In we go. Let's find the stairs. Here we go. Okay. Perfect time, 8 o'clock. We'll put a sheet rope out this window, maybe? Yeah, sheet rope. Uh, remove curtains. We'll make one more sheet rope. Remove curtains. Alright, craft sheet rope. Open that. Add she rope. Okay, let's get the sludge out. Put primary. Yeah, let's do this. Oh, crap. Uh oh, uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. Hold on. 
Life. Just call him out, call him out. Oh crap. Call him out. Jesus, there's still quite a few. Okay, I need to call him around here. We've got 40 minutes left. I need to get him out of the house. Just far enough away so it gives me enough time to knock that thing out. Alright, let's go. Oh god, I can't run anymore. I'm too tired. 8.30, half hour. Come on, we can do this. Keep the knife out until the last second. Eight forty. Oh my god, this is gonna be so close. Okay, get back inside. All right, they're far enough away. I should have enough time as soon as I, as long as I can get in there. Eight fifty. Oh Jesus, I gotta go. Okay. Sledgehammer, sledge, sledge. Primary. Destroy. Then we gotta get up that sheet rope. Good. Oh! Okay, I pulled this up. The move sheet rope. Oh, nine o'clock. <laughs> we did it, guys. We did it. Alright, remove that. Oh, sweet. Jesus. Close window. That was way too close. Close window. Keep the warm air in. Okay, let's uh, pick up maybe this TV. We'll put it by the stairs so we don't jump off. We did it. Just put it right there. That should stop us. Yep, perfect. Okay. Oh my god. Farming for beginners, cooking for beginners. We don't need those. Um, let me put the sledgehammer in here. Jesus Christ. <laughs> that was so close. We were down to like the last seconds. Alright, let's see what this place has. A water bottle. Okay. Cooking pot. Uh, let's put our food in here. There. Uh, we've got rotten food here. I, I did make some salads out of... Uh, our vegetables while I could. I put that in there. So we got a couple fresh salads here. So that's good. We got some extra sheep. Oh no, these are our sheep ribs. Okay. Not extras. Alright. Um, Jesus. There's a lot out there. Hopefully, it's just the one staircase. <laughs> I think we are good. Uh, no real good supplies, though. That's not more stairs, is it? No. It's hard to see what's going on here. Let's not uh, risk it. I think it's just the uh, bedroom, bathroom. Okay, so we got water here. Oh, okay. Um, I guess we go to sleep from here. And we can just leave that open. Okay, yeah, let's just go to sleep. Not sure how long we're going to stay here. Um, we do have our farm back home, but it's probably going to be a few days, maybe even a week before we have our next crop ready to harvest, so... Uh, sounds like there's a radio. Is that our radio that we put in the field? Can we hear that from here? It sounds like it. Uh, I got pretty low frames, so there's obviously a lot of zombies running around out there. And time is going by very slowly. Yeah, I think we just hear that radio in the field. Alright, 7 p.m., so we've almost made it. 
to the docile hours. Take a look around here. Perhaps they've moved... Oh, no. Oh, where's that... Didn't we put another radio up there? I guess they're going towards it. Yeah. Just when they're more active, they can move farther away from it. All right, so let's uh, let's see here. Let's eat a little bit of this salad. Just eat a quarter of it. Uh, maybe another quarter. Okay, let's fast forward until 8 p.m. And then we can head out, maybe finish rounding them up to the radios. Uh, let's make sure our alarm is off here. Uh, it is off. Okay, good. Okay, 8 p.m. So let's put out our sheet robes. Put both these windows. And everything's dropped off except for our plastic chair, which we're going to hold on to. And let's go out and finish this episode off by rounding up more zombies. So for the most part, everyone's around that. So that's good. We can pull some more of these guys over. Back to your radio. Good. Okay. We'll make sure that the front is, is secure, though. So let's pull these guys over to this one in the field. Another hour till cat eyes. 9.30 is when they kick in. So yeah, we'll pull them over to this radio here. Uh, it would have been better to have it f them further away from us, the radios, but we were kind of in a rush. So I think that can be excused. We did the best we were able to. All right, wait for them to catch up. Just, uh, let me go up here. My god, it's so dark, though. I'm sorry, guys. I can't even see. Just want to make sure they get caught up on that radio. Which I think they probably will. More coming down from up there. Um, I might go back and just wait for this to get a little bit brighter. This is kind of crazy right now. And we can search that. Um... Oh god, I didn't want to do that. I want to go up. Might not be the best placement. Okay, I got a... I got a boo-boo. A deep wound. Oh, great. We have tweezers. I don't know if we have a suture needle, though. Oh, we do. Okay. Stitch that up. There we go. Not the best place for our... We can't remove this glass. I don't know why I can't remove this glass. Are we stuck in here now? <laughs> Where's the door? Let me get my flashlight out. Yeah, damn it. Well, we might as well search this now. Ooh, a tire pump. Hell yeah. Zombies. It's a pop. Uh, 
A Muldra man. Where's the... God damn, where's the... I'm gonna have to risk going out the broken glass again. Alright, well, cat eyes are on now. Where's the damn door to get out of there? We might have to just go up this one. It's a bit safer than uh, that one by the broken glass. Alright, let's pull you guys out onto the road. And just remember, each non-fatal injury is just another chance for us to work on our first aid skill. So, never a bad thing. I'm glad we did have a suture needle on us, though. And tweezers. That made treating that injury quite uh, easy. Just want to get these zombies away from the building. Come on. Uh, become. Yeah, so next episode we'll take a look through this town. Uh... I like finding that tire pump. That was cool. Hopefully we find some more uh, good mechanic related items. We are looking for headlights and an exhaust. Exhaust probably the more important of the two. And I might just finish rounding these zombies up. And we'll come back next episode guys. Thanks a lot for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new. Make sure to follow me on Twitch at Nomus Plays. Uh, for kind of updates on the channel, what's going on, recording schedules, when things are going to be posted. If I'm going to be going on a bit of a break, I'll let you guys know there. At Nomus Plays on Twitter. Did I say Twitch before? I meant Twitter, sorry. <laughs> Twitter. Uh, yeah, so until next time, guys, I will talk to you all later.